Hey guys, Colleen here, back with another video, and yes, the eye look is very, very intense today. Um, for the entire weekend, I've been posting like colorful looks, you know, I figured that carnival is coming up, so it's like why not try, you know, something a little more out of the box, you know, not to say that I'll be wearing it to work, but anyhow, rambling, rambling, rambling. Um, as you can tell by title, this is my eyeshadow palette collection. This is not recommendations. I have a video on recommendations of permanent eyeshadow palettes. I will link it in the description bar below if you're interested. This is just simply what I have lurking in my collection, you know, and um, let me just say, if you are the type of person who does not like makeup, does not like collections, or that jazz, you know, I think you could save yourself the hassle and just click out. I don't know why you would click on a video like this if you don't like it. I think that's just being retarded at that point. Um, but anyways, let me just, the intro is already long, so I'm going to break this up by brand I think that is the easiest way to do this and of course if the video gets very long I think I might do a part two to it as suggested by one of the members of the beauty channel so let's just get into it okay I'm um, dealing with Lorac and this is my first Lorac palette it is a Lorac Protego and the cool thing about it is Sorry, I'm blinding you. But this is the cool thing about it. It falls like that. And it has neutral shadows, blush and bronzer. You know? So that is that one. I do want to get more Lorac. You know, it's just that I have so many um, neutral shades. It's, it's not funny. Okay, this one. It's a neutral Lorac. I love this too. But I use these shades for accent colors, not like all of the lid colors, not like I don't think you could do a full full look with it. You know, there aren't any mats. I think this is the nude skinny eye shadow palette that I got off of Hot Look for like ten dollars. Um this is another one. This is a limited edition, it's called the Getaway. Iron cheek palette. Let me not blind you. This one you could do a complete look, and they are very pigmented. Love that shadow palette. And the last one is the Lorac Mega Pro. This is the only one I got. I did not get the last two. I don't know. I just they didn't call to me. And these are what the shades, you know, what they look like. Again, limited edition. I don't use it as much. I mean, at first it seemed cool and whatnot, but then it kind of lost its novelty, I guess. But I need to like pull out that one a little more. So the next one that I have is probably the biggest out of all the eyeshadow brands, and only because they're so cheap. And that is the Morphe, and this is the 12S, and this one is a hot mess because I dropped it, and some of them shattered. I could get it open, yeah. See, this one shattered, but yeah. Again, really nice for all over the lid colors, but not a complete look. You know, I don't go for it because of the shatter. This is the Morphe 35E. Okay. And this is what it looks like. These are all shimmers. Again, good for over the eye lid looks. But they can't get a complete. So I'm just going to zoom through. This one is the 35B, which is what I use to get this eye look. That and Ambrosia glitters you know I'll list what I use in the 
description Barbie Lou in terms of products, you know, to get this look. Next one is to the 5T. This is a cool tone, neutral. This is the 35D. Good for a smoky eye look. You know, just saying. I think it was easier to just take them out and just show them and talk about them instead of like going in. And you want to see everything. This is the 35P. Love purple. Purple is my favorite, favorite color. So I had to get this. Next one is 35O. Well, this is like the bomb.com in terms of cheap palettes. Warm tone. Something was like itching me. I don't know what it is, but clearly I'm allergic to something. Next one is 35W again. Excellent neutral palette. Just saying. Just saying, the next set are like some affordable drugstore. So the first one is this Wet n Wild, and it is the Studio Eyeshadow Palette in I forget the name of this one, but I used it in our first impressions. I did not like it, and this is the purple version. It says here. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. Next one is Pixie. Pretty Eye Perfection palette and this is so cute like the colors in here are so cute and they're so pigmented and this is a good high-end higher higher level of drugstore brand you know next one is Milani and I'm sorry for the glare um, this one is really pretty this is the earthy elements um, I got this from my swap body back in March or so I think Easter time. This is really pretty to use. I know wonderful wool carries them so probably try their fit and I think they have like other other sets. This is sleek. This was gifted to me. This is called the Eau Natural and this is what it looks like. And sleek is a very good drugstore brand as well. Um just mind you it is the mattes are not as pigmented, but the shimmers are to die for. Like, look at that. Let me get another one. Look at that. Yeah, drugstore. Again, like, bang for your buck. You know, just saying. So, next one is BH. And I love, I love it's Judy Time palette. Um, she's a YouTuber. She's very popular, and I love these shades. Like, I died for this. Like, I had to, had to get it. So, mind you, my collection is not big. By all means, it's not big compared to some of the YouTubers out there. Like, um, oh boy, like. Tar babies, tar babies on his like <laughs> insane and don't talk about like fancy faced, you know. Oh god, I love her. I just so much high-end stuff. This is my this is another one from BH Cosmetics. I think this is the 20 color natural eyeshadow palette. This is like one of the first one first major big palettes I got when I started doing makeup you know this is good for beginners you know if you you're not as adventurous just saying but you know but after a while you kind of realize you know pigmentation wise you want something a little more power um sorry to blind you this is the crown brushes blizzard palette and this I paid like nine dollars on hot look i mean hot look is the place to get palettes cheap so i will link it in the description below you can check it out whenever they have sales and i love these mermaid colors it's like 
dyed, right? And I want to do a look with this, like film a carnival look with this, even though I don't think you can really get this palette. So I probably might do one that's a little more accessible, like the Morphe, you know? Just saying. But love, love, love the shades in that pigmentation is off the hook, right? Okay, I'm gonna do some one offs and then branch any more high end palettes. So, this is a Lime Crime Venus palette, and for a while this thing was sold out, but it was back in stock and I grabbed it and I just love this. This is like the perfect fall palette. You could create a full fall look with this, and I notice now this trend is. A lot of burgundy colors so if you can't get a hold of the violet Voss holy grail or the Anastasia you know modern Renaissance or even the Kylie burgundy palette I mean you could look at that one um, this is the hidden those of colors hidden treasure palette the pigmentation on these palettes are insane but I hate the layout like the layout is annoying it is very annoying but let me just give you an idea of how insane right like it's literally like a pressed pigment like dude Like really like it's a pity it's a limited edition though I I was talking it for a while and when it got in stock I just I didn't hesitate I just bought it <laughs> I didn't even blink twice like had to had to had to get it um, next one is makeup addiction vintage palette and this is what it looks like I'm still contemplating whether to get the flame in love palette and the meadows but you can tell these are my kind of colors like warm tone is just my jam like ugh, look at that uh, look at that like dyed Died. like really I mean um, I got this from Wendy Hamilton on over overstocked market or something like that I'll link it in the description below I don't know if she has any more but if she does and you're interested check it out next one I also got from Wendy Hamilton is the Juvia Nubian 2 palette and I did a video on it so I will link it in the description below and these are what the colors look like and they are beautiful like this blue I died for this blue like look at that that green oh my god gold like dude you need to get your life together if you do not have that palette like and i love the indie brand palettes because they are so very pigmented and creamy next one i have is the makeup geek money mua i love this palette duh that's why i have it and this is what it looks like i love this duochrome here um i think it's called insomnia <sighs> and I do not have a shade like it at all like dyed right dyed so so and uh, makeup geek shadows are so bomb that I bought like individual pans and filled up an extra large Z palette um, this is the Z palette here if you want me to do a separate video on the shadows in this Z palette, please let me know in the comment section below and I would gladly do it. 
you know and I could give you like tips and tricks on how to get the most bang for your buck with the makeup geeks because I think you know they 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 are six dollars a pan but uh, extra large Z palette holds 35 shadows so when you multiply that that could be a very pricey investment and I can give you like tips on how to like save and be able to fill up an extra large Z palette so let me know in the description bar not the description bar in the comments below sorry and you know I will gladly do that video next one off palette I have is the Stila eyes of the window palette and this is in Seoul and I got this in a makeup swap same makeup swap with my friend Tracy and these are really nice cool tone shadows as you can tell you know you have a nice mix of shimmers and mattes you have a black so you can do a complete look you could do a neutral look a smoky look this is a very versatile palette you know and I need to show it a little more love just see but yeah I'll get to that so now the rest of the palettes here are like from brands you know that I love, I love. and these are the more higher end ones so let's start with Tarte this is Rainforest After Dark this was my first Tarte palette ever 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 oopsie can I open you now one thing I hate the shades are on the sleeve so I really can't get rid of them because then I wouldn't know what's what but this is it here and you see it leans more mauve than anything else so yeah and this here in the center is a blush yeah the blush is called Unleashed and it's a really nice palette I think Sephora and Tarte still carries it they um they don't typically get rid of unless it's like the holiday palettes but that's like a permanent so next one is the tartlet and this is my first like cool tone all matte palette and you see Tarte has a particular theme in terms of the mauve colors I'm sorry for blinding you that's it there and I love this palette like I love creating looks with it next one I had to get tablet in blue and this one has more well it's a mix of shimmer and matte so here is it and it's warm tone and again very very pretty let me just swatch and show you very very pretty let me swatch your matte look how nice that matte is you know very pretty and it smells like chocolate for some strange reason they smell like chocolate i don't know how come but okay so let me just deal with the Too Faced i don't own that many Too Faced palettes and the reason for it is because i find the pigmentation is a bit on the chokier side and they more lean towards fair tone fair tone complexion so I got this in a holiday palette kit last year all right and I like to tell you I hardly use this and this is what the pink one looks like this is what the black one looks like And this is what the green one looks like and I feel I'd use more of the green one than the others the next one is the Too Faced Smoky Eye and this is in like the older packaging I got this off of Hot Look for like $15 and this is what it looks like um, I don't particularly like the packaging because it's on the bulkier side but those are the colors and there's this kind of blue here that looks really cool right and this silver let me just wipe my fingers a little bit 
Come out silver. Look how intense. Yeah, so that is like excellent for creating a night, a smoky eye night look. You know? So I do have the two chocolate bars, the original chocolate bar and the semi sweet. This is what the chocolate bar looks like. I mean, you've seen it all over YouTube. I really don't use this one that often. As you can tell, it looks almost brand new. This one doesn't see the kind of action that my semi-sweet does. As you can tell, hit and pan on some shades. I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is really good transition color for my skin tone. So it's like really pretty. So that is my Too Faced collection. Alright, let me see. Oh, Urban Decay. Let's do Urban Decay, right? So my very first Urban Decay was actually this little guy here. The first basics, not the second one. And this is what it looks like. And as you can see, I hit serious pan on this. Transition colors are just the bomb. And this is all matte, so you can use this to like lay the foundation on your look and then pull an accent color from wherever and just you know or you could do a complete look with this you know I think this is the naked two that I could pan on alright so like all the Urban Decay palettes I have I don't own any of the naked palettes um, they don't particularly interest me I I'm more lean towards the limited edition, very colorful, you know, I don't know, that's just me. So this is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I purchased this from the makeup store Trinidad in Bradford Mall. I got this for 250 TT, yes, score. The owner actually, she purchased it at Sephora on sale and then passed along the sale savings to the customers and $2.50 and I've been killing this like killing it and I do want to do some carnival looks with this palette you know I love the neon colors and I don't have many neon colors next one is the Gwen Stefani collaboration and I think I saw this selling on sale for $25 on Urban Decay. I don't know if it's still there, but this is the palette. This one does not come with a brush. But this is, I guess, one of, more, one of my more neutral Urban Decay palettes, except for those three colors with the, you know, pop of color here. But I love it. Like, there's a diamond dust one that just. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I like it and I love Gwen Stefani, so I'm just saying. Uh, next one is the Urban Decay Vice 4. I love the packaging. Urban Decay is kill it with the packaging. And this is the shades here. They're really, really pigmented, like. Look at that green. It's like, ugh. Like, oh my god. I do want to get the new Spectrum palette they have out right now. So I'm just waiting for, you know, it to go on sale and whatnot. So, you know, so I have the last Urban Decay, is this one. And this is the 2015 Spectrum palette. One thing I hate is the packaging because it, it doesn't have a hinge. So, and these are the shades. And as you can tell, this one shattered and completely cracked. This is Boon. It was a nice brown. Um, but the colors are really, really lovely. You know, beautiful mermaid colors. So. 
I really want to get a replacement of it, but I think it is sold out. So I would just have to like live with that feet. Okay, these are my Kat Von D's. I don't have many. I just have three palettes from Kat Von D. So the first one, which is a holy grail for me, is the Shade and Light Icon. So I spoke about this in my recommendations. If you're looking for the ultimate neutral matte palette, this this is it. So I suggest you, you know, look at this one. I mean, colors are really lovely. Like. like really ultimate 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 mats you know <laughs> okay next one was a holiday palette from last year and it is the Mifida Loka this is what it looks like the layout let me just take it out now at the time this was like all the range but it is so impractical but I love the colors like this actually reminds me of the new Urban Decay Spectrum palette that they have so it's so big I can't even fit in the frame both of us can't fit in the frame but I love this I use it when I do colorful looks I use this and the Morphe 35 brights to get this look you know because where the Morphe kind of fell down in the um, Kat Von D, especially like like this yellow, this yellow shows up and the yellow shadows really don't show up, you know it's hard to get that kind of color payoff okay, and you all would have seen this in my last haul video this is the Metal Mat oh, look at that that is a thing of beauty. I mean, you really can't get better than that. If you are contemplating whether to get it, I and you know, you don't have any cat on these, take a look at this. You know, because you could get the neutrals here and the more colorful looks and then the pops of color. So, you know, that's something I would look into. Um, let me do my. Anastasia <laughs> collection. It's not much. I have four palettes. Starting with the first one, which is the Shadow Couture World Traveler. And this is what it looks like here. It's pretty, but I don't know. I don't understand these colors here. Everything else I do, but it looks so odd with that blue. As we want to know about Anastasia, like. In the beginning like some of the shadows combinations just did, did not make sense again and this is the oh let me show you first self-made this was my second one and again I mean beautiful colors but what's with that what's with that you know didn't understand the purpose of it but it was nice pops of colors you know and there are some colors in here that are just insane like this is pink champagne and I have them in that this palette and the world traveler you know the next one I have is the modern renaissance and forgive the dirtiness you all would have seen me kill this palette quite a few times a pit pan in a couple places but this one is more cohesive the color selections and shades are more cohesive you know so if you can get your hands on this get your hands on this one this one is like the bomb.com and the last one I got you all would have seen it in a haul is this and I love it I've been killing this one as well this is like a really good palette for work, like your everyday look can't go wrong with. Okay, my second most expensive are uh, the Viseart palettes, and I have the Mix 2, which is a baby one. I did a video on it, you can check it 
I'll link it below but this is what it looks like half shimmer half matte you could do a complete look with this these are easy to travel with you know my favorite is probably the neutral matte this is the number one I love this palette I love that orange it's like oh died 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 for that orange this is the dark matte again love this shadow I mean this cost 80 dollars and this is the bridal satin palette I don't know if I'll get any more of the Viseart I don't know perhaps maybe I don't know but I think I'm good with those and the last which are my most expensive are the Marc Jacobs so let me deal with the baby ones first and then so this is the Dreamer 2 it has a 212 and this is like the warm tone neutral as you can tell the pigmentation on these are insane so they're really nice really nice you know but this I think this is like 50 or 60 dollars for this little thing very expensive like I had to buy that on sale the VIB sale I wasn't buying it just so next one is the Lolita which is the most popular one this is 206 and this is what Lolita looks like here it's more neutrally cool tone and there's a cool diamond dust one only thing is it has a lot of fallout this diamond dust one but it's very pretty like really pretty <laughs> hella hella expensive and my most expensive palette ever I don't have Natasha Denona even though I want to but I don't know if I could um bring myself to pay $240 US for a palette this was the first holiday palette it is called the free spirit is the 224 this was the holiday palette last year I'm looking at the one for this year I don't know still contemplating but this is what it looks like right and there's some really nice colors like I like this khaki color in it there's a gold gold is really pretty it's a kind of taupey champagne color again I keep swatching all these shimmers but I mean the mats are the mats you know so but that is basically it that is my eyeshadow palette collection I do have other palettes like blush palettes and highlighter palettes you know concealer palettes um, but those are my eyeshadows at least the ones that are in a palette form you know um, so if you want to see like another collection video please you know any suggestions in the comment section below let me know if you want to see primers or blushes or lipsticks anything I'll do it that's not a problem you know and that's basically it so if you like this video this very long video you stuck around thank you so very much for being that patient and sticking it through I'm kind of tired of talking actually so I mean if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't so you can get notifications when I do post a new video and until the next time bye